Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com/get100. For a first deposit match up to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Hey everybody, Adam Colbertson here. When you finish this episode or right now, add another Creative Typo Entertainment podcast into your feed. Here's a promo for one right now. Make sure you go and check it out. What would you do if I told you that the world is not what it seems? You're telling me that potato salad is the key to other worlds. Ha! It's not even the best side dish. And people are not who they appear to be. I don't know that we can trust Master Gouche. Well, I know for damn sure we can't trust Charles Edward Cheese. My name's not Mike. Where puns run rampant through the streets. The Global Adventurers Guild Master Enterprises will not stand for this. Well, it's gag me for sure, so I'm pretty sure they take everything on their knees, don't they? And it's hard to tell who the real monsters are. Well, yeah, it's a mimic, but I'm Francis the Lion. Three heroes. You have my sword. You have my kazoo. Oh God, my hip. Face off against three villains. Never again will they enslave me. We'll make damn sure of that. I'm Francis the Lion. We We know. To keep the world of Euphre from ripping apart. This damn portal won't close. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? And Tim and Terry from getting even more screwed. They're totally werewolves. Yep, they're definitely werewolves. Holy shit, those guys are werewolves. Welcome to A Fool's Quest. A Fool's Quest can be found on all major podcasting platforms simply by searching A Fool's Quest. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com/get100. For a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening. To microphones and monsters.
All right. Um, all right. So yeah, you get into town. Um, uh, there's definitely some some people walking in the streets. Uh, it's uh, cobblestone streets. Well, most of them are. Some of some are still kind of like dirt road. You know, I've got to say, this place definitely lacks the charm that Arvidel had. <laughs> or Savannah's. Or anywhere we've been. We can just say anywhere we've been. It's fine. I don't think they're going to mind. <laughs> <laughs> what about the the one near the mountain? Oh, oh, you mean the one that was uh, in the snow and cold. And yeah. there were uh, creatures uh, trying to eat everyone. That one. Yeah, I think that's like the same, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not gonna freeze to death. No, mm. now we just need to worry about buzzing yeah. insects <laughs> and the wonderful smell. Yeah, at least Victor's not gonna get uh, pit stains mm. because his clothes are, are fake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is is there anyone just out and about, or is it just just everyone's kind of like closed up for the night kind of thing? Uh, no, I would say it's still pretty early night. Uh, there, there's, there's people that are, that are having a good time. It looks like they've been drinking. Um, definitely, uh, you do see what looks like, a like, like some kind of, um, some kind of guard in the town, um, that is like getting on to people, but it looks like people are just kind of ignoring him and, and just still just having fun, uh, kind of deal. Um, shut up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that the 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 guy is just kind of c- c- come on, guys, stop! Like, like you you know you're not supposed to do that at night. Guys are really serious, okay? <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, hmm. If old Gil was a cop, <laughs> as long as it's not old Greg. No, I do not want old Greg. Although the setting, <laughs> the setting Greg. of this would be something I, that the the cesspool of old Greg would live in. <laughs> I'm old Greg, <laughs> drinking swamp Bailey's out of a shoe. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess man. I guess we'll walk up to um, Sir Not in Charge. Yeah, he's just they, these these guys just just run away. Well, not not just guys, but but this group of people, hoodlums. Uh, they run away. Uh, you do notice that that it is a bunch of different fantasy races. It's not just humans. Um, very much like you're you're used to. Yeah, not nothing like bug dwarfs or glowing head weirdos. Yes, yeah, it's it's yeah. It, it, yeah, you know, there's just plain similar to what you mo- uh, races. Yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. there's a cat person over there. Thank goodness uh, it's back to normal. Yeah. So you you approach him. He's he's just. Oh, I'm trying to pick a voice. <laughs> You've already done goofy. Try Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I say, I say, these people won't go back home. <laughs> I'm a I'm a chicken hawk. Why? <laughs> Well, I say, I say, you can't ignore the laws forever now. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we had visitors. <laughs> oh, what, Louis- what could I do for you? Space Louisiana, so in- fantasy Louisiana. <laughs> I guess we're out of space now. Yeah. <laughs> Louisiana Prime. This is, this is past Louisiana. What Louisiana out of space. Yeah. <laughs> This is pre-Louisiana. I think I'm speaking in more of a Georgian <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it accent. Is. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're making it our own, okay? <laughs> I... Um, uh, um, uh, hello, yes. Um, we, we are... Um, uh, uh, but mere travelers. V- yeah, v- visitors from, from out of town, um, and we're looking for a place to um, uh, be put up. Um, could you, could you point us in the right direction? Uh, what, what, what you just asked? I'm sorry. I missed that. Uh, could you, could you tell us, uh, or point us in the right direction of a place that we can, you know, um, shack up for the night or, or for our, for our time here? Sorry. Yeah. And, and he's wearing a badge. Like it's got his name on it. It says Luther. Um, he's like, oh yeah, I can't believe you missed it. Um, as right as you came into town. Um, uh, uh, the short arm, uh, looking at, uh, we do got a nicer establishment up near the coast. Hmm. How the short arm, let me write that how, down. How far is it from the, 
nicer establishment. Oh, uh, it's just right up here, about uh, about four blocks that way. Hold on, I'm just <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Longhorn. <laughs> It's called the ugliest teacup in that's the, <laughs> the, on the on the generator. The like, what the fuck? Teacup. <laughs> <laughs> the the fluffy teacup. rock tavern. The what? The hard the rock fluffy tavern? rock tavern. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the, calling it that. The, fl- <laughs> the fluffy, fluffy rock. rock. Oh, what the fuck? These are some stupid ass names. <laughs> Amused raspberry pub. The scarred <laughs> hamster bar. <laughs> Oh, the secret leader bar, like where you can find any number of secret organizations. It's called, hanging out. It's called the Golden Shoe Crab. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, right up there, four blocks that way. Oh, the Golden Shoe Crab. <laughs> what a what an austere name for a location. Um, uh, 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 you know, you know. Sorry to interrupt, but I have to. I have to. Throw this one more out there that's up there. Mm-hmm. The Itchy Night Elf. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think I want to stay at the Itchy Night Elf. Um, that is. Oh, that's. That is. That is that's the, the, that's uh, the local pleasure house. <laughs> yeah. The infectious bed bug. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the six week itch. <laughs> um, the mushy potato. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's God. if it's if it's all right with uh you all i i i would r- rather we stay at this um this this uh golden shoe crab well that's it, a it's a mighty fine choice there what's the do you happen to know the going rate there per night I don't want to run out of money good 500 gold a night five gold i mean for yeah. like a nice place yeah probably yeah oh five gold a night. oh it's just five gold son only that doesn't sound too bad i think we'll be all right there alistair any objections no no not really i mean as long as there's a comfortable place to sleep i'll be okay i ha- i have to I have to ask the cat and that it's just the whole thing don't worry about it um well that is quite a fancy cat there is he all right is he on fire uh, is he on fire it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, is he on fire it's nothing to worry about it's um i i it's it's my um well you could think of it as a, a a test familiar if you will i i run some um magical experimentation on the cat um it's it's quite a right i i assure you that the cat is in uh no immediate danger well on that we can at least agree well that's yeah, a, he's fine some mighty fine suit there is that a suit or are you a golem uh, it is um uh, you, you you might say yeah it's closer to a a a golem suit um it's something of my own um design and workings um it's uh it's one of a kind well, that's interesting we ain't seen ain't never seen that around here before probably never uh, will after today yes i'm sure something like this probably hasn't been invented yet He's a talker. Um sorry. He just he just <laughs> keeps meowing and meowing and boy he'll never shut up. <laughs> so I look over at Alistair. <laughs> well, if y'all need anything else, just look for old Officer Luther here. Um and uh yes, they... I'll make I'll make sure you 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 get wherever you need to go. Yes, and um if we have uh, any more questions about um uh uh, I'm sorry. I actually I didn't catch the 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 name of this place. Oh, it's uh, Green Pool. Green Green Pool. Two words. One word. Three words. One word. One word. Green Pool. I see. <laughs> All right. Just uh, just wanted to make sure that we were in the right spot. Um, man, y'all y'all really are from around here. No, I mean, there's only one no, way sir. here, and you still. All right. We might have we might have gotten a little um lost in the dark. But um, I'm you from I'm, up north? I'm sorry. You from up north? Y- yes, we're from up there. All right. Well, we don't get a lot of visitors around here. Only one road in and out. Uh, just a small fishing village. Well, well, well not village. Just a small fishing town. What, what? What do you? What? What do you fish in this town? Oh, you know, fish, uh, shrimp, shrimp, <laughs> mud bugs, <laughs> shrimp. Uh, you ain't never heard of green pool shrimp before. I, I don't think I have. 
Nine. Oh man, you really from out of town? Uh, is, uh, I'm way out of town. I'm assuming that's something that we could potentially try here. I believe every establishment in this town serves shrimp, son. Well, yeah, there's lots of ways to prepare shrimp. Well, uh, we really do uh, need to be going. Um, uh, if we have any <clears throat> concerns, uh, Officer Luther, um, we'll be sure to um, uh, find you. Yeah, where's the um, the uh, Golden Shoe Police crab. Station? Oh, the, oh, the, the police station. <laughs> he he tips his hat to you, and uh, I will point out that he is a um, fuck. He's, a, He's fuck. a fuck. He's an. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed so nice. He, I knew he was on the take. He. <laughs> he is an ogre. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's well spoken for an ogre. Ogre. <laughs> so the same as a uh, sheriff Barum. No, he's an orc. Oh, okay. okay. Luther's an Luther's an orc ogre. He's 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 quite a big guy. Ogre. Of course, we find. Yes, I am ogre. normalizing ogres. Yes. In swamps, <laughs> What's wrong with even? that? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> he's very well spoken. I mean, after all, ogres have layers. Yeah, mm-hmm. ogres yep. do have layers. <laughs> <laughs> like onions. Uh, yes, um, uh, 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 good good evening to you, uh, uh, Officer Luther. We'll, we'll be on our way. All right. I'll make sure. Uh, uh, do you need me to check on you in the morning? Um, no, we we should be fine. If we need anything, we'll come by the police station and let you know. All right. Well, y'all have a good night. Thank you very much, sir. Now, where did them? Where did those? <laughs> where did those people run off to? Who he starts stomping down the the road. And for an ogre, he really is a pushover. <laughs> also, Jeez. also, Alistair, how have you not? This is like the nineteenth interaction we've done. You know, people just can't understand you inherently, right? Oh, it doesn't really matter to me. Either they're good enough to be able to understand me, or they're not. That's really not my concern. Oh, oh, okay, you understand how this d- makes it difficult for us to try to interact with you and interact with someone who can't understand you. Well, I mean, you could always do what I do and just ignore them. Not even going to uh, justify that with the response. Um, let's let's go see what the golden shoe crab is about <clears throat> before I start having one of my fits. <clears throat> <laughs> one of my fits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, you get to the, the golden shoe crab. Uh, you smell what the like, rock is cooking. <laughs> you, you do. Um, <laughs> you, the rock is you, the cook. You smell. <laughs> as as you're just passing down on the streets, you definitely are, are smelling like like cooked seafood, cooked shrimp. Um, oh, it's awful with, with spices and and everything. It, it, it smells amazing to everybody but Victor. Yeah, excuse me, I, Victor. I, I ordered the. It smells uh, so bad. Victor is like very like much like into it. Like he's like, yeah, this is gotta yeah. be some good food. <laughs> I'm about to puke if right I can now. eat it. Yeah. <laughs> if if I can eat like, this, it I, I, smells I, I, so good. Excuse me, uh, I like excuse me, chef. I ordered the uh, shrimp pool boy. It doesn't matter what you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the accent too. Yes. <laughs> I say, I say. But, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like the idea that like Victor almost has this like masochistic kind of thing to him mm-hmm. about food. Yeah, it's well, he like, knows it. He oh, knows it only smells that bad. That smells he's a so cook disgusting. Folk. But it's, yeah. he's he's a trained cook, so he knows like it's, it's know. almost I, the, the I, worse I something just... smells when it's food. The better he knows the food is, and the more he appreciates it on like a visceral level. It it still mm. it still doesn't smell good. He doesn't like enjoy smelling it, but he psychologically appreciates how bad it smells. It's fine. I just think it's funny that the end result <laughs> comes out that way. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I like the I like the the it's it's like um how Charles He's, Barkley I'm pretty sure I made the reference before it's how Charles Barkley did his diet is basically if he tasted oh, yeah. anything and it tasted good he would just spit it out and not eat it. Yes, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh all right, so you that get diet to the sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all get to the golden shoe crab mm-hmm. and uh you walk in the door and the place is packed. There are people eating uh, sitting at tables, uh, eating. Uh, there's a woman bringing out plates of shrimp, uh, cornbread, setting it down on tables, and it's a cone. She's bread. like, "I'll be with you in just one moment." So like, she goes back. It's like music playing and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, totally music. Uh, there's actually uh, somebody playing 
playing on the piano. Mm. There's no accordion? Like like ragtime? Yeah, ragtime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Or, hmm. Ragtime or blues, uh, bluegrass? Mm. I would say ragtime. Sorry, ragtime. Ragtime, ragtime, yeah. yeah. Okay. Bluegrass is more mountains than swamp. See, I was thinking that like is Zydeco. True. Do I know? I was thinking like Zydeco. Zydeco, what's that? Like Cajun music. Okay, yeah, we could we, <laughs> like with the the like I've, accordion. I've stuff. probably heard oh, it. Oh, the accordion. I've just never heard yeah. it called that before. Is I think it normally the on a single They play piano, piano too, because mm-hmm. that's why I went with ragtime. <laughs> yeah. Is there um, is there someone who's just playing? It, it, well, I was I was I was gonna say more people were playing instruments. Oh, okay. Um, like a man's just Would got a like piano a piano be involved. He's just got like a stick and it's just got one um, string so, on it and he's just wailing on it. <laughs> according to Miriam Webster, anyway, it typically features guitar, washboard, and accordion. So we okay, got so Emmett Otter up there. Scrap in this the place. piano. Oh, washboard. <laughs> you got, you got a, yeah, you got a guitar, spoons, uh, accordion, accordion, and, and a washboard player uh, playing Zydeco in the, on a stage Ragtime on the other side Zydeco. of the room. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? Man's playing cool. spoons and, uh, and he's playing it hot. It's like yeah. it's like ragtime Zydeco fusion. There you go, exactly. <laughs> there you go. I mean, we've already like got they're doing like, this new thing, like antebellum <laughs> Louisiana fusion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, throw a piano in there too. Yeah, yeah. We got some fusion going on. All right, um, but yeah, uh, the woman that that just had uh, spoke to you uh, goes in the back. You hear her yell, Sonny, I need that next order." And then she walks up to you, and she's like, uh, "What? What could I do for you? There's th- uh, two of y'all and a and your cat." Well, I'm not really their cat. I mean, if anything, they are more like my humans. Um, yes, if you wouldn't mind, um, uh, like to get uh, three rooms for a few nights, and uh, uh, oh, I got a table coming up here soon. If you're looking for something to eat. Um, yeah, they can eat. Uh, we'll, we'll probably we'll be interested in something to eat. Victor's gonna <laughs> claim a table on their behalf. Uh, yeah, yeah, if, well, yeah. I'll. I would like to kind of head up to um, the 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 room and and kind of get out of this attire and then something a little more. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Uh, my name is Shorna. I, I will be. Well, I'm the owner of this establishment. And uh, yeah, let me get you a key. Uh, I, by the time I get back, that table should be ready and I'll get you seated and you can go and get out of that. Uh, <laughs> and I am sorry. I did not mean to be rude to your cat, but oh, we don't get many cats around here. Yes, I can. I can only imagine why. They, it, it's, it's the secret ingredient. That's why there's no cats around. <laughs> Let's see. I was just thinking that there was no reason for cats to show up here. It is awful damp. Yeah, that's that's basically it. Yeah, we, they got some fish we get for the you, occasional though. traveling cat that, that comes through here. That 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 uh, <laughs> is more than a cat. I, I don't I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, let me go get that key for you. Thank you. And there's uh, y'all need three, two rooms, three rooms. Three rooms. Uh, we will. Oh, right. we'll, we'll have I got someone. You. Um, uh, we may have someone joining us. Um, uh, also, um, the cat can be quite a bit of a handful. Well kind of give it its own space all right uh, i'll get that taken care of for you well yes and and uh it, it wouldn't hurt to maybe have some extra pillows in my room he'd she like extra away, pillows yeah. in his room of course of course <laughs> sonny i need that order <laughs> uh yeah so she she goes behind the counter and y'all are waiting in like the there's a there's a bench <laughs> you can wait at for a table. Oh, I don't think I've ever had to wait at a restaurant before. No, you never no, had no, to wait no, for no. a whole lot. Uh, she eventually she grabs the key. Um, um, she grabs she she puts it in her in her uh, pocket or puts puts the keys in her pocket. She uh, goes in the back, grabs grabs those orders, come comes out and uh, serves the table. She she waves somebody over to clean up the table that uh, that just uh, people got up and left and uh, she's like all right uh, here's your keys and she hands the the keys to the three of you thank you thank you meow <laughs> 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 like Al- Alistair's just going to like uh, like grab the the key with his, his teeth okay 
than, than just to like show off or, or seemingly show off. He's going to like kind of flip the keys like up in the air, like behind his head uh-huh. and then kind of use mage hand to like slyly like slide them into his back. Nice. <laughs> Do a flip. She's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that that's entertaining. Now, uh, your room number is on the key. So just head upstairs. It, it's really easy to find. And uh, you are the two. Uh, I got I got three seats for you. Uh, t- table just got cleaned up. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll um, get you some menus. Victor, I'm going to head she up. She grabs um, menus. If you want to go ahead and grab the table. Yeah, do you want me to order for you or you want to pick it out yourself? I'll pick it out myself. Gotcha. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I'll, I got I'll you the most up, putrid I'll, smelling thing. I'll head, up, I'll head up to this room that I'm told is supposed to be very good. Mm-hmm. And we'll it is very nice. Table. Yeah, the room is the room is really nice, and there's, um, I mean, you could totally the the door is even big enough for you to, to fit in easily, and you're able to get out of your suit. Um, and what are you wearing now? Like, are you still wearing the jumpsuit? Yeah, yeah, I'm still wearing the jumpsuit. Okay, J J C brand jumpsuit. Yeah, the j- <laughs> and uh, J C brand, a family company. <laughs> um, but yeah, and, I'll, uh, uh, I'll I'll hop out of the suit and then um. Uh, I will uh, also, um, as I'm um, you know, getting changed up and everything like that, I will go ahead and cast Arcane Lock on that door. Okay. And um, and during that time while he's doing that, we'll, we won't go through the whole ordering process um, unless y'all really want to. But but what would you order, Victor, for Julian and yourself? I, I'm and not ordering for... for Julian. I specifically asked him if he wanted me to, and he said no. I did. I did. So I will I will head down and then I will order oh, okay, what okay. Uh, Officer Luther had suggested and I will get the the green shrimp, the green pool shrimp. All right, all right yeah. And then their I, signature dish. Is it an actual green shrimp? No, 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 no. It's it's the green pool. Oh, I was just hoping rest the shrimp was, from that area. I was hoping that it would also yeah be shrimp green shrimp too. from like. No, 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 no. It's a diet for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, they have they have green shrimp and clams. <laughs> uh but it is it is fresh. Like it, there's even signs inside there that said uh all 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 food was caught fresh today. Yeah. Um and Victor would have helped Alistair order whatever he wanted off the menu. Um I mean, shrimp doesn't sound quite as appealing, but like anything, maybe get fish it, would get it, appealing, be probably pretty nice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there is fish. Yeah, they do have they do have fish, so you, you're able to order fish. Yeah, and then uh, the the menu I'm assuming does not have anything for crypt folk on it. <laughs> no. Okay. No, it doesn't. Then Victor Victor is going to order a water, um, and and let them know that he ate earlier. A swamp um, water. <laughs> It's not. They're not serving swamp water. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Cutting I up. mean, aren't they though? <laughs> you just give them a glass of uh, dirty, filthy water with algae got, floating in. Got stuff swimming in it. <laughs> so, so you you got your order, and and she like sits down at, at, at the empty chair at the table, and she's like, "So y'all y'all new into town? Uh, what's uh what's uh what brought you here?" Well, I suppose they would probably be mad at me if I told you that it was a, a time-traveling portal, but, I mean, there it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I had my um, mouth full of um, del- delicious shrimp. Um, oh, thank you. We were, um, uh, uh, honestly, we were um, just uh, passing through. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know, we've been, we've been kind of <sighs> traveling for an extended period of time and just haven't had a... Uh, uh, a reasonable amount of time to kind of rest up before we can continue in the next leg of our uh, our trip. Um, I, I think we might end up uh, staying here a day or two to kind of um, uh, you know relax and um, uh, recuperate ourselves before we um, hit the second leg. Um, is there um, any particular places of interest uh, here in Greenpool? Oh yeah, and she she just brushes her hair back like with, with her hand over her ear and you actually notice that her like the hair was covering her ear and uh she is an elf mm. um but uh she's like well um i mean of course we are known for our shrimp uh, and uh we do have nothing else a very <laughs> no <laughs> uh we do have a very extensive library um uh there are historians here and librarians 
tell us. Um, oh, well, no, no. Uh, historians and antiquarians uh, here um, that uh, they they study here. It's it's a way for them to to get uh, study in peace, um, as as we are kind of separated from a lot of the surrounding uh, cities and towns in the area. Uh, what's the what's the story behind the behind the library? Has it always been here? Or? Oh yeah. Um, there's a. Uh, they got seven books. No. <laughs> <laughs> they got a new one. God, these about are three years ago. <laughs> they really it's a are. pop-up Jeez. book. <laughs> <laughs> it's got pictures, <laughs> and the pictures come out. <laughs> Doctor hugs. <laughs> it's like there's a castle that just comes right out of the book. <laughs> 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 it's it's quite oh, amazing. Man. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, they have another book that you can touch it, and it's got like fur, like like on the animals. <laughs> 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 and holes you can put your fingers through, and it looks like legs. <laughs> 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 we have another book about a caterpillar that's very, very hungry. <laughs> he keeps eating everything they is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, well, the library was founded by Professor Narbeth um, about a hundred years ago. Uh, kind of the kind of the start of this town uh, before we were we were known for our, our shrimp. Okay. Um, is the, I'm assuming the library's available to public access. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, it is closed, uh, during the night. But it will probably be open back up in the morning Of course, tomorrow. of course. Okay. All right. Um, anything, uh, anything else? Well, there is the giant bullfrog matadors that happen. <laughs> <laughs> we have a matador that tries to entertain and wild the crowd while it's whisking their life against a giant bullfrog. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, before the last <laughs> one croaked. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, before you ask, the frog does have horns. <laughs> well, there is uh, uh, Hune's Distillery and Brewery. Um, we are known for our bourbon and, and, uh, and ale as well. Uh, not as much as our shrimp, but I mean, you can't uh, eat shrimp without a good bourbon or ale. Now, Julian does not care for um, bourbon. Um, that being said, uh, <clears throat> myself, Max, uh, I love bourbon. <laughs> so I would actually like to go to this place now. Shrimp and bourbon sounds good. That sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> it's almost like I need to just go to Louisiana one of these days. Where's the LA? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There is the, the, but the there uh, is the guild hall. That, that distillery sounds pretty nice. Yeah, uh, there is the guild hall uh, where the the leaders, the the council uh, meets, and uh, uh, they, they 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 keep coming up with some odd laws that people just uh, they most people ignore. Um, but uh, yeah, we saw but the council's uh, near the center of town next to the library, and you can. Uh, I mean, if you if you're passing through town and you want to meet some of our leaders, that's that would be the location. Uh, what kind of strange laws? Just so we don't, you know, are, are the, we don't want to cross rules Luther. and customs for yeah. Well, they're well, trying to keep people off the streets at night, different. and uh, I mean, we're kind of a a party town, uh, so to say. Uh, we like our food, we like our drink, and the best time for that is at night. So well, we, I'm a doesn't sound like the laws are in your best interest. Oh no, we do try to keep folks inside uh, um, at night. So we 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 actually opened up our inn and uh, expanded it into a restaurant so we could uh, we can entertain uh, without the without worrying about the old office of Luther and the rest of them. Uh, we do got some good. Uh, of course, we got we got we got a blacksmith uh, in town. He, he he makes some some wonderful things. Uh, 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 Rainies carvings. If you're looking for some souvenirs or, or possibly uh, trinkets that might be able to help you uh, uh, with with your if if you looking into into getting into shrimping business uh, on helping you have a good catch. Okay. Uh, Rainy also uh, 
He, he, he likes to brew uh, potions and elixirs if, you, if you're looking for that. Um, so. Okay. Well, it looks like there's um, a lot of things that we could... Um, uh, what are you interested in? Um, a lot of things. I, I'm kind of curious about the library now, seeing how it's basically is the, the, the keystone behind the whole town. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of history there. Uh, just one second. I'll be right back. I need to... Uh, take care of some of the other customers here uh i don't yeah need, don't don't, don't I, let us uh hold you up <laughs> uh, sonny's back there probably wondering why why i'm not i'm not <laughs> yelling at her for some orders uh yeah i, I appreciate your um your your time um shorna uh, starts with starts with shorna yeah no it's shorna shorna, shorna. <laughs> yes, thank i don't you need so the wife i don't need the wife being upset with me uh but yes uh Y'all, y'all have a wonderful meal, rest of your meal, and uh, let me know if you need anything else. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. And she, she, she goes in the bag. She's like, Sonny, where's that next order? Hello again, everyone. It's Max. Uh, I'm recording this similar to the one I did before. Still working too much, still very loopy, but we had another episode. I really enjoyed all of the, uh, <laughs> the down in the bayou accents and, and, and ambiance and stuff like that. I fully expect to see uh, a lot of, uh, uh, dumb Shrek memes and Forrest Gump scramp stuff. Um, it really made me want to go back and, uh, eat some of the really good Cajun food. Actually, we only have one place that has really good Cajun food in Charlotte. It's called Cajun Queen. It's very good. Uh, if you live in Charlotte, go there. Highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this, uh, this, this whole scene is going to be a lot of fun. Let me tell you. So, uh, yeah, continue to listen on. I, I promise it ends well. For you guys, the listeners. So, if you could go ahead and visit us at creativetypo.com for links to all of our shows, links to subscribe to the newsletter, uh, links to merchandise for the shows, uh, as well as any events we may be attending in the future, all that information will be there. If you could also swing over to our Patreon, uh, again, thank you to all the supporters that we have, greatly appreciate it. Um, your contributions help keep the dream alive. So, again, thank you very much. All music is written and produced by Marco Mazzi at Ball and Highway Studio. Thank you all for listening. Kiss your brother, kiss your mother, kiss your lover, be good to each other. Bye.